Hello VW, and what we're going to do today is cardio first, marching, knees, or stepper. So if you have a stepper where you step on and off, then you can do that. Um, knees is just bringing your knees up like this, or marching in place. So I'm going to demonstrate marching in place. So we're going to do that 30 times. Just keep your feet moving. Marching in place is very good if like, you live in an apartment or something where you can't make a lot of noise. So that's what I would recommend is marching in place. The biggest key is to feel your legs just moving. And I'm probably gonna be doing more than 30, but just count to about 30 reps, breathe, try to feel. So I bend my knees, not straight out like this. I wanna keep them bent so it feels like I'm running in place or I'm marching, walking fast, something like that, and breathe. Keep the core tight. After that, you have jumping jacks. Again, if you live in an apartment, one leg out at a time, or just regular jumping jacks for a 30 count. Once I hit 30 of those, I'm gonna do incline mountain climbers. And the reason I like this is because I can switch my feet. Again, if you live in an apartment, you're just gonna step, 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 but you wanna move your feet, keep your core tight, breathe, and we're doing 30 of those. Last one is jump rope, same thing. If you live in an apartment, I'll demonstrate that first. Just move, slight bounce, so that way you're not making a lot of noise. Here, if you have a jump rope, use it. If not, just feet up and down. 30 times, okay? Make sure you breathe. Once you hit one round, rest about a minute to two minutes. Repeat that for three to five rounds, okay? You wanna use your phone as a time stopper, do that as well. Next, we're gonna do some conditioning. So I have um, a band that's high for my lat pull down. And all I'm gonna do is kneel down, make sure I sit back, Shoulders locked, put down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You really want to feel that lat. If you need to sit back more and get it felt, that's fine. Don't lean though, because then it's just the top. You want those lats to be activated and feel that tension. Notice that pause that gives that contraction in there and breathe, okay? We're going for about 20 of those. Then right away going to your incline push-up. The reason I chose the incline push-up, we're gonna target our lower chest, but also, you know, you target your whole chest, but it's more for the lower. Um, what you wanna do is when you go forward, lean forward, one. So don't go straight down like this. Lean your body forward and press. By doing this, you're activating the whole chest. Okay, anything that's an incline, that's what you wanna do. Again, you're doing about 20 reps of that. The next one is into our squats. Remember, feet shoulder width apart. Keep your posture up. Some people put their hands out. Some people put their hands back here. Hands out here, it doesn't matter. You just wanna sit back and lift straight up one, two. Breathe in, breathe out. Just like so, toes are straight. Feeling my quads, my hamstrings, my calves. To really feel my calf, I lean a little more forward when I come up like a hinge. This way, it puts all the weight right on those areas, okay? You wanna hit 20 of those. Once you're done, Grab your dumbbells, band, whatever you have, cans, bend your knees, lock your shoulders, shoulder press. And notice how it's right in front of me. I want to feel the front and the side belt. And just breathe. And again, if this is too easy for you, go up to 50. Just pound it out. Time under tension is what really makes a difference when you're building and conditioning your muscles. Okay, once that's done, you wanna rest about one to two minutes. Just relax. You're gonna do three to five rounds of that. 
Next group of exercise, first we start with the kickbacks. So kickback, just lock your back position, core, bending your knees, weights up. Squeeze your back together and throw the weights back. That is a kickback. You can do 10 to 20 of those. Remember to breathe. Then come up, biceps. You want to twist the weight. Remember, this is all bicep feel. By twisting your pinky, so when you're coming here, you twist that pinky over to this position, that's going to activate the two heads, and you're going to really feel that bicep. This is again 10 to uh, 20. Then, upright row, bring it all the way back. The biggest key. Don't just bring it up here, that's for your side delts, for your traps. Pull it back. Feel the rear delt, feel the whole trap, and remember to breathe. Okay? You wanna hit 10 to 20 of those again. Rest about a minute or two, and then repeat that for three to five rounds. Like I said, if you do all five rounds, Take your rest, you're gonna hit about 45 to 50 minutes. All right guys, we'll see you next week.